Menu lafia. Lafia lo. To your ten. Eti saying, yes, I want all the kids in the world to know at least three or four languages. If you can speak them, you're on top. Welcome to the Kids Golden Moment. And thank you so much, parents, for tuning in and also allowing your children to watch us. This is a marvelous program for all children, teaching them so many things, especially developing them to love reading, to love reading, to love reading, because most wisdom, if not all, is hidden in books. And so we develop that love to read so that we can get that wisdom. We may not be able to fulfill the destiny God has placed in us. Because one thing we believe, every child has gold within. That is the essence of this program. Thank you once again, and thank you for viewing and sharing, and all those watching from Canada, from US, from I know you all, God bless you, and may your children rise up and call you blessed. Today, once again, we are starting with the I am a CEO. I miss the other sections. So this is the section of creativity, because one thing we believe is that if you set your hand to do your own thing, it's better because God has placed talent in every one of us. So here we go with the molding of heart section and the molding of hand section for us to run onto golden heights. So when I say kids golden moments, you say hearts, hands, and heels. So we are going to develop our hands right now. Let's go over to Nora for Nora to teach us how to decorate cards for Father's Day or any other day. Isn't it, Nora? Yes. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> All right. Okay, welcome to the end. Today we are going to be learning how to put ribbons on cards. So firstly, we'll be needing um, a paper or a card. Okay. So this what we are going to be Wow. So this is what Nora did on Father's Day. And she did a little bow tie. I think I could zoom down. She just used these ribbons. She used the ribbons to, to do that. Just these ribbons. And she was able to decorate this beautifully for the father. So this is Father's Day. Isn't it creative? And this is really good. Every child at home can do that. And when you're able to do this, one day you never know. You can have a card factory or any other factory. So Nora, please go on and teach us. So they will join you. Mm. So this is what we are basically going to need. So first we need a um, card, or you can even use a sheet of paper if you have a card. Okay. Then you would fold your card into three or four sizes. Okay. And fold it flat. I want to make my design this way. Okay. So I would dip my hand in the glue and okay. use it to draw a line like this. I want to send it out. I'll use it to draw a very nice line. You can also use a stick or something to put the glue in there. I have to find my hand. Then I'll cut a little bit. Okay. But you can ask your parents to help you use the scissors because it might cut you, so I'll use my ribbon. I'll first stick the ribbon over here. Then I would use my hand to press on it as I go. So I'll press tight. Then I'll paste it here. Then I'll press tight again. To make it have this shape. I would press it again. Then I'll press it again. So I'll do that till I get to the bottom of it. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. Let me make mine easier. I don't want trouble. <laughs> so I'll cut this. And also I'm going to make another design over here. So the glue. I'll 
is a glue there. Like this. Little chunky. So you you would hold use your hand to hold it for a while. You go again. It takes long to dry, so you need to have a little patience. Let me draw my. So we can also add glitter to it. So this is what I got after I finished. So we wait for it to dry. You can um, paste pictures over here. Maybe for birthday, you write. Happy birthday with a marker. You can write in happy birthday. You can write the person's name. You can draw love or circle. So you draw the circles to decorate the card a little bit. So happy birthday, write the person's name. You can also write a wish for the person. So, so that is it. That is beautiful. So this is what I also was able to do. So maybe me, let me write um, happy Father's Day. So I will make it a golden Father's Day. To all fathers, though related, it is still a wish. So this is all for all the fathers. All right, that's beautiful, and I love what Nora did. Okay, even with the bow tie and the color, she's such a creative, wonderful girl. And this is one thing I always advocate that parents should allow their children to be who God has purposed them to be. If your child is a designer, she's an artist, whatever she is. It's good to go to school, but remember that don't ever let your child do what they don't really want to do or what they don't have in them to do. It is very important. Then also, I think, all right, show them this. This is what we used, the twine we used last week. She just, she just wrote R. Probably Ronti. This is Ronti, eh? Then this is Nora. This is all about playing with um, items, glitters, ribbons, anything to form anything. Isn't this beautiful? It's so beautiful. So thank you so much, Nora. Thank you so much. Wow. I am a CEO. Very important. Please, parents, always make sure that the children be who God has purposed them to be. Nora is a great designer. I will not be surprised she, she turn out to be a great fashion designer or an artist. Something great. And that is the essence of it. Whatever it is in you, when you bring it out for the world to see, you shine. So I am a CEO molding our hearts and our hands and very soon we shall mold our heels also good kids golden moments kids golden moments and all work and no play sometimes you have to come in with some music some dance something else to make things better Jenora is going to teach us a new song but before then i'm sure she's going to help us with last week's song which song was that in and out of the in, dusky blue. In and out the dusky blue girls. Let me try. I remember when I was one year old. <laughs> in and out the dusky blue bells. In and out the dusky blue bells. In and out the dusky blue bells. Who shall be my leader? Okay, who shall be my leader? On my shoulder, tippity tappity, on my shoulder, tippity tappity, on my shoulder, I shall be your leader. Okay, so that's what we learned mm -hmm. last week. So this week, what do you have for us tomorrow? This week, the title is In the Land of, in the land of Ice and Snow. You can simply call it Ice Cream, because the song talks about ice cream. So these are the words. In the land of ice and snow. 
Out among the Eskimos. Out among the Eskimos. There is a college known as Sojiwawa. There is a college known as Sojiwawa. You could hear the college girls giggling and making an awful noise. You could hear the college girls giggling and making an awful noise. When they see an Eskimo, when they see an Eskimo, tralala, 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 they've got a leader. So this is the first part of the song. So you learn the next week, you learn the continuation. So in the land of ice and snow, in the land of ice and snow, out among the Eskimos, out among the Eskimos, there is a college known as Sojiwawa. There is a college known as Sojiwawa. We could hear the college girls giggle and make an awful noise. We could hear the college girls giggle and make an awful noise. When they see an Eskimo, when they see an Eskimo, tralala, tralala, they've got a leader. They've got a leader. Okay. So we will sing it a little. So unless we will continue a little, but it's quite a long one. So let's go. In the land of ice and snow, out among the Eskimos, there's a college known as Soji Wawa, Wawa, Wawa. We could hear the college girls giggle and make an awful noise when they see an Eskimo tra la 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 la. They've got a leader, but next week we'll continue with this one. So the song is long, so I'll sing it again for you to to In the land of ice and snow, out among the Eskimos, there's a college known as Soji Wawa. Wah, wah, wah. You could hear the college girls giggle and make an awful noise when they see an Eskimo tra la tra la 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 la. So that's the half of the song. Okay. okay. So next week we continue. Uh -huh. So let's sing it again. So the kids will be able to learn it. So we'll sing it line by line. Then that will be better. Okay. So please sing for us line by line. In the land of ice and snow. In the land of ice and snow. Out among the Eskimos. Out among the Eskimos. There's a college known as Sojiwawa. There's a college known as Sojiwawa. We could hear the college girls. You could hear the college girls. Giggle and make an awful noise. Giggle and make an awful noise. When they see an Eskimo tra, when they see an Eskimo, when they see an Eskimo tra la la, tra la la. Okay, so maybe next week when Nora finishes the song, we understand that it's a beautiful song. I mean, it's, it's, it's lovely and it teaches a lot of words and sounds. All right, so Nora, thank you so much. And next week we we'll expect you, all right? God bless you so much. All right, all right. Kids' golden moments: hearts, hands, and heels. And please remember, tell mommy and daddy. And mommy and daddy, I know you are watching. Please always make sure you wear your nose mask or your face mask wherever you go. It's very important to protect yourself and also protect others. And more especially, protect my children for me because they are so precious to me. I love them. So remember, and always wash your hands with soap under running water. Even if you don't have running water, let somebody be pouring the water for you as you wash your hands. It's very important to be safe and healthy for us all. All right. So, Auntie Winifred, you're welcome once again. Thank you. Um, over the weeks, we've been learning how to read. How to read, how to read. And we started with the alphabets and their sounds. Joining two letters and three letters, we are going on. And we believe that all those who have been watching us so far should be able to read at least two, three letter words yeah. here and there. Okay, so what we are going to do today is I think two or three letter words yes. that will continue for them. Yeah. And we believe that children will soon develop the act of reading because they will read easily. Yes. All right, so over to you. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so just as mommy said, we've been learning letters and then their pronunciation over the weeks. Today we are going to continue with our three letter words. We know you've been learning at home. We want to repeat it so that you will know how to pronounce the word 
and also read well. So, so today we have, let's say I have letters like this. And I'm asked to form three letter words out of these letters here. So now what do I do? We will go on and learn consonants and vowels, but then let me chip it in here. Before you can get any word, make sure you find the consonant within the letters, okay? The consonant within the letters. We know we have 26 alphabets in all, and five vowels, and then 21 consonants. So now I am going to write three letter words out of the list of letters here. And my first word is... Okay. I know you pronounce it at home. You are doing very well. My first word is can. Okay. Can. We all know C sounds, A sounds, A, and then N sounds, M. So if you have to combine all these letters together, you get can. Okay. Can. All right. So now let's move on to another word like this. This is a word we all know because we always sleep under it in the house most of the times in the evening. So when we have N, which sounds M, mm, E, which sounds E, eh, and then T, which sounds T, we would get a word like, yes, you are correct. So you get a word like net, okay, net. Now let's look at something here. In all the words we are forming, we know that all the words come with a vowel in the middle. So without a vowel, you you will not get any proper word. So you should know your vowels and your consonants, which we'll be doing it next week. And then let's move on to a word like pigs, pigs, pigs. Because P sounds A, I, P sounds P, sorry. I sounds A and then C sounds A. So with the words here, you can also write any letters you want, maybe 10 letters out of it, you'll find words out of it. Today, that is what we'll be doing for our three-letter words. So let's go back and read. Okay, so today with me here is Adorable Ronti, who always challenges me. All right, so Ronti, last week we did our shared reading. So today we are continuing our shared reading from page, Auntie, where did we end last week? 23. 23, so we are continuing from 24. This is the shared reading. This is another skill when it comes to reading. We told you the last time that we have techniques in reading and this is one of the techniques. It is called shared reading. If you are tuning in today or this is your first time of tuning in to Kate Golden Moments, we are doing shared reading and this is where we read line after line. You read line after line. This is mostly done with in the house with your families. It unites you. It helps the kids read more and then become very confident. So, Ronti, let's start. Okay, it's start. hard work, my dear. I'm so tired. Okay. So before that, we are still reading from the Big Child book, which was written by Mommy, and it's a very good book which is helping us read. Over the weeks we've been reading, and you know how we are reading. We are always transforming and reading very well with the book. Okay, so let's continue. Walking days from flower to flower is a very difficult task. But the lazy flies play and wasted their time as usual. I thought they have changed their attitude, said Nutty Fly to Sandy Fly. I knew they are still lazy, but just de deceived us to give them food. If they do not gather this season, they will die of hunger, Sandy Fly said in anger. We must teach them a lesson in order for them to learn that. The lazy man will always lack food. Hmm, ha ha ha. They both laughed as they walked back and forth from flat to flat into their new hive in the crown of a big orange tree, which was far from Fluffy Fly and his family. They do not know we have a new house far away from them. We will teach them a great lesson this time, said Sandy Fly. They both roared with laughter. Fluffy Fly thought, oh, they are so kind. I know they will give us food. 
again this rainy season. But unfortunately for Flavi Fly, Natty and Sandy Fly did not return that season to their fa former hive, which was near Lazy Flavi Fly's house. As the cold set in and the dazzle started, Lazy Flavi Fly and his family had no food stored for feeding. Okay, so the correct word there is grizzles. Okay, grizzles. We always still tell you that when your child is reading and there's a mistake, you have the right to correct the child. Alright, so the word there was drizzle, so we're going to take it again. As the cold set in and the drizzle started, mm -hmm. Lazy Fluffy Fly and his family had no food stored for feeding. Excellent. The heavy rains poured in and hunger crept in like a snake through grass. God looked down the next morning at the lazy and hungry Fluffy Fly and his family and said, let us give them wings to fly into people's houses and refuse them to eat off leftover food and waste so that they do not die of hunger. But I will give a beautiful set of wings also to the hard-working Nazi fly, said Sandy Fly, his wife and the whole family. This will make them to fly faster from flower to flower, gather nectar and produce delicious honey for everyone to enjoy. God then called Natty Fly and Sandy Fly bees. So their names were changed to Natty Bee and Sandy Bee. Oh, okay. So that's why we got bees. Oh, okay. That's they grew cool. bigger and lovelier than the flies than the, the, than the fly. than the flies and had a special glory on them. That was how God separated the bees from flies. Wow. Which read was done there? Never has a man who has lived a life of ease left a name worth remembering. Diligence, taste, wow. golden pill. Okay, so the books come with our uh, golden proverbs and moral tips as well. So that is why we are always advertising this book. Mommy or Daddy, you need one. Okay, so today we end our reading here. It's been a wonderful time reading with you. And we hope you would continue reading. Okay, so last week we did a collection of group tents based on inanimate. Today we are going to be based on people. When you go to the church, when you see people, plenty of people, as we always say, on the streets, at the stadium, how are you going to call them? Okay, so that is what we are going to do today. So when you meet people, okay, when you go to church and you see a people above 100, how are you going to call them? They are called congregation okay congregation maybe next week we write the word on the board and then explain it well congregation what if when you go for a concert and you meet people there how are you going to call them they are called audience audience okay a u d i e n c e audience okay all right so when you go to the the stadium and you meet people there the fans on the stadium, hey, supporting their teams. What are they called? They are called crowd, okay? Crowd. All right, so we will end here, and then we will go to the board for our word formation. Word formation. So please join us on the board. Okay, so as you will pray, you saw when we go to stadium and we say, hey, God, yeah. hey, God, hey, 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 it's called crowd. crowd. So what is spectator? Or the spectators make the crowd. The crowd, yes. Uh -huh. They so, make the crowd. And if you are there, you are a spectator. Yes, please. But the whole, the whole people uh, there are the crowd. crowd. Okay. Yes. Then when you go to church, yes. now they said we shouldn't be more than 100, 100. in a church. Yes. So if you are more, um, if you are 101, a congregation. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. And like I believe really that everyone is safe out there. Yes. So when you go to um, a cinema, mm. the cinema, do you call it a crowd? Or that one is like... It's also audience. audience. It's also an audience. audience. So they are really okay. watching it. So audience. the essence of teaching this is for children to be able to describe a crowd yes, very yes. well in their composition, mm -hmm. in their essence. Yes. And when they also see it in any book they are reading, yes. they will understand it. Exactly. Okay. So okay. I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Very soon, children, I know you will start writing very good books because every reader is a writer. Because the more you keep reading other people's books, that you mean. Others will also read your books one day. That is it. Because you acquire much knowledge. Then you have so much 
to also write beautiful books like this when you grow up. Okay, all right, so it's word formation time. Yes, today I'm going to give pure water to the one who will. Eh? Okay, so I'm not, please, I'm not right. <laughs> Okay, so Ranti, my challenger. All right, so today, what's our word? Qualification. Qualification, okay. Hey, we should read. Okay, so when we say qualification, we are talking about a special skill or knowledge, okay, that gives someone the opportunity to do a particular work or an activity. So that is the meaning of qualification. Okay, so Ranti, it's time, right? Yes. Okay, so kids, as we always say, it's good to get a big word and then try to break them to form smaller words out of it. Because these smaller words are the same words you'll be using to write your composition, your letters, your stories, and everything in this world. Okay, so please, Ranti, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so let's go. Okay. Fat will be the best. <laughs> Okay, so parents, we've always been telling you that it is good to always give your kids words like this. Most of the times, you would be busy and you would have to give them words like this so that you can do what you want to do. Because some, some of the kids really worry. So if you give them this according to their class, find three letter words, find four letter words out of it, you become free. You can be able to do whatever you are doing. And then the home is going to be peaceful. Okay. Hey, Ronti. <laughs> Ronti. Ronti is really challenging you. All right. No. What, which word is it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll look it up in the dictionary. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Right. Okay. But she's done well. Mm -hmm. Over this week, she's been transforming. She's been improving with the formation of the word. This is why we say that it is good to read. It is good to always use dictionaries when you are reading. It is good because when you don't you write a word in yourself, you are not sure. You can go and look it up in the dictionary as mommy is going to take us through. So thank you for watching and thank you for also trying this at home. We know as time goes on, we'll be able to get more words out of our big words. So we will meet next week. Thank you. All right. So as Auntie Winifred said, we need to understand words and the best way and the only way that you can understand words is by asking or seeking in a dictionary we have the french dictionary here but today keller Tier is not here today i'm not going to go the french way i'm going to go the english way and i think it's been two weeks now we have been learning how to use the english dictionary the first week we learned that dictionary starts alphabetical order. Every word you want is in an alphabetical order. It's similar to the phone book or the contact book um, on your phone. When you save your names as A, B, maybe Abba, Bernice, Catherine, it comes in that order. It starts with Abba, which starts with A, the first alphabet. Then when you go down, before you, you get to Baba or Beatrice or Bernice, then you go to names such as Catherine, then you get to the last name which could be Zach or Zachariah or Zinavu or something. So everything is alphabetically ordered. So it makes the usage of the dictionary very, very easy because you can move from A, B, C, D, E, all the way to Z. So with this, we learned also that the first alphabet or the first word in the English dictionary is obviously A. Because A is a word. A, just A is a word. It's A as an A, A, a boy, a ball, a. <laughs> okay, so we have A. Then the next will be A, A. If there's a word like A, A, then it's going to go to A, A. And A, A um, is an abbreviation, so it's not really a word. Then, we, if we have another word, it should be A-A-A. 
but we don't have to leave there. That starts with um, three A. So we have our next will be A B because B comes after A. So the next word which comes in the English dictionary is going to obviously be a word and um, after the A A double A, we are going to have A B. There is a word like what? Well, and um, for kids, I don't think you should bother, but there's a word like this. Which has double A. So from this you go to this, but there's no word with three A's, so you come to A B, because B comes after an A. Then the A B, you have A B as a prefix. I will not talk about that because it's not a, a, a real word. Then you have another word A B A C K a back. And abak means to be shocked, to be surprised about somebody. Ah, he took me aback. I was so shocked. I was so surprised. So that's what abak means. Then from A, B, you can go to A, B, A, and C. Because we have A, B, A, C. A, B, A, C. But you have U, S, abacus. A, B, A, C, K comes before A, B, A. A C U S because U comes after K. Or should I say K comes before U? So Abak comes through the English dictionary. Abak comes before Abacus because the U is after K. It's as simple as that. So any other word you want, which is A B, comes in that sequence. But every time the word after the next word should be after the previous one. So that is it. I was reading a book during the week and I saw a word apportion. Apportioned. And I was wondering what does that word mean? So I went and I took the dictionary and I went to A, B, A, C, A and I came all the way to A, P. Then when I reached A, P, then I looked for is it APA? No, it's APB. No, APP. So I went to APP. So I open to AP. First, you just go to AP. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So you go to AP. In the dictionary, you're looking. Yes. And it's good. If you're not used to it, just keep turning it slowly from AB, AC, AD, AM, AN, AO, AP. Then I came to AP. Then at AP, I didn't go to APA. I went to APP. So I bypassed APA, APB, APC. Then I went DEF all the way to APP. Not MPP. <laughs> <laughs> so I got APP. Then from APP, I have to look for O. So I didn't go to A P P A, neither did I go to A P P B, but I went all the way to A P P O. You take your time. I'm taking my time, but when you get to know it, it's so easy. So from A P P O, then I went to A P P O. I went to A P P O R. That's A P P O I. That's and APP, different, different APP, but I went to APPO, then I got my word, a portion. Okay, so that is how we look up for words. It's as simple as that. So these are A words, but when you get a word like B, <laughs> you have to bypass all the A words and go to B, and B, A, RB, then get it. So you take your time. That is all. So using the English dictionary, it's easy. And I'm, please, I'm telling you kids, don't ever read a book. Flip the, um, the pages and go over and go ahead without understanding all the words. Because reading without understanding is not reading. You're just falling away time or you're just flipping through a book. But every word you read, you don't understand. Either you get the English dictionary or ask mommy or daddy or your teacher to explain it to you. Then you acquire knowledge because the essence of reading is to be able to understand what you are reading. So if you don't understand what you are reading, then there's no need to read at all. But as I always say, make sure you read seven pages a day or more. 
30 minutes a day or more. And always remember that readers are leaders. All right. So we are done with the dictionary. Next week, we shall continue with some few words. We'll pick some few words and we'll all try at home. Kids go the moment. Heart, hands, and heels. Okay. So we know that with all the academics we have, if you don't have a good character, you may go up in life, but you definitely come down. That is why we always add the moral tip to this section. And we are telling kids that it's always good to apply wisdom to everything we do. These words of wisdom will help you. So let us go over to Nora to help us with a moral tip for today. Auntie Nora, you're welcome. Thank you. Okay, today's moral tip is in for a penny, in for a pound. I repeat, in for a penny, in for a pound. The definition is... If you start small, you will get big one day. God even loves humble or little beginnings. Make up your mind to get things done even though you start small. And sooner than later, your success will be great. A work started must be completed even if it gets difficult. It's the small things that eventually bring big success. Okay. So the small things that eventually bring big success. So, Nora, what have you started little by little? You have gotten somewhere. Okay, I've started learning how to sew and also how to design. Design. You love designing. So, you have started <laughs> small. So, in for a penny, in for a pound. What that actually means is that uh, um, if you have money, the little, little money is what you keep to get more. And um, it's like in for pesos, in for CD. Okay, this is. Because it's coming from UK, that's why they're using pounds. And, but if it's here in Ghana or in an um, African setting, well, let's use Ghana because we are in Ghana here. It's in for a pesos, in for a CD. That means that little, little pesos will make 10 pesos, will make one CD, yeah. isn't it? So 10 pesos, 10 pesos, 10 pesos, 10 times makes one CD. So if you get one CD and you spoil it, one peso and you throw it away you say oh it's small you throw it away throw it away how will you be able to gather all the 10 10 pesos to get one cd mm -hmm. and remember one cd 10 of one cd makes 10 cds mm -hmm. then 10 of 10 cds makes 100 cds. cds so if you want money you have to start little it's like savings mm -hmm. because i know you have a super boss you're putting money inside small small sometimes i'm still in small small <laughs> <laughs> so in for a penny, in for a pound. That means that when you are ready for little things, you are ready for big things. Exactly. So as she said, she started sewing small, small. Mm -hmm. By the time you realize it's a big time designer, mm -hmm. but you have to start everything small. Everything started small. Mommies and daddies, in businesses, in everything you do, you have to start small. Don't say, I want a big boutique no. or a big <laughs> shopping mall. No. Maybe you have to start with a kiosk. Mm -hmm. And you go to a container. Then a self contain a bigger room, then a shopping mall, okay? So, and Aunt Winifred, what have you also started small? Okay, so what I've started small is now I do Sobolo. Oh, you do Sobolo? Yeah, so, Sobolo. Sobolo. <laughs> really? Sobolo, yes, I do Sobolo. I, I, I anticipate that one day it's going to be a big yes, 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 yes. So, I've started with my nothing, mm -hmm. just to get something in future. Okay. So, what I am now chasing after will chase after me some time to come. Well, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I fancy she's going to preach. Okay, so it started a little soap all over. One day it's going to be a drink factory or some big factory. So in for a penny, in, in for a pound. But here we'll say in for a peswa, in, in for, for a CD. CD. All right. Games time, games time. You know, all work and no play makes moi a dog girl. Thank you so much for watching the Kids Golden Moments. Mommy and Daddy, thank you. We believe that the children have learned a lot today. It's good to read. Let them read with a book. Sorry. <laughs> let them sleep with a book. And let them know that when they read, they'll become leaders in future. Because wisdom is acquired from books. So if they read every time, they'll become great children in academics and everywhere they find themselves. So that is it. Thank you so much. And I believe that we have been able to mold their hearts, their hands, and their heels today. Our mission has been accomplished. Today, after the meeting, we are going to have another wonderful game. But before then, I want to say that allow the children to play, mommy and daddy. Not to play out and get hurt, but games teach a lot.
games help us to learn a lot of lessons in life. And I believe over the weeks we've been learning a lot of things we have also learned out of playing games. It will go on and on. And if you have any suggestion of any game you know, please call us, please WhatsApp us, send us a message of any game you even like us to play or teach your children. Because I know people are even watching from the US and Canada and everywhere else. If there's a game you used to play when you were young and you've forgotten, just tell us. We will research and play it here for everyone to also learn. Is that okay? All right. Thank you. I'm the Golden Queen. Over to the games. <laughs> Have fun. Okay, so all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Today we are continuing with our Ludo game. And as we've been explaining to you over the weeks, this is a form of a local calculative game which, which helps kids in terms of their mathematics and calculation. We normally play with four counters, but today, because of time, we've taken two. We really want to know who is going to win today, because today, <laughs> yes, there should be a winner. Okay, so we are playing with the dice, and then mommy will start for us. Today, mommy will start for us, and it's going that way. Okay, so she played two, five, six. So if you need six before you can come out. Yes, okay. Oh, six. So we are battling for six. You know what? Ah, oh, Rati. This six was supposed to be mine. Two, six, and five. five. Okay, so one, one six, 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 two, six, six and one, one, two, three, four, five. five. Okay. All right, so what she did now is an addition. Okay, okay. So until I play a six, I will not come out. So as I play the six, one will come out. Yes. If I'm able to play four, then I go one, two, three, four. I can use line kick. It's called line kick. Then I take her home. And also, if I can play another six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I play two, one, two, I can equally take her back home. But whatever way, we are moving forward. <laughs> six and four! Oh, I put aside. One, two, three, four. Then I send. So this is called like it. She's gone back home. And so she plays six, she can't come out. And now that I have gone behind my house, I can come in, go inside my home, and win. Well, win with one. So I have one more because we chose only two to play with. You're hitting the other two. Okay. So it looks as if I'm the one winning. You played one. So you so she shifts one. Six. Two six. Ah. All right. So I'm also in six, six, and then one, one two. two. Okay. So. Six, so two, I go one, two. So I'm going to my house. We follow the arrows. Yes, yes. Two. Okay, so Okay, added. so with this one, two, if I'm able to play one, two, three, four, I also kick her out. Oh, four, so four, 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 four. Oh. Yay. <laughs> one, two. Six. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm home. Okay, so I play six and one, and I go again. <laughs> mm. Six, two, one, two, one, one. Hey, <laughs> my prophecies are coming to pass. Three. So one, two, 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 three. So because I only have one, two, this one is also one, so I have one, two, three. When I play three, I can go, but now I've played five, I cannot go. And because I didn't play six, I cannot also come out, so I am stuck. So once she has played one, she has moved it. One. I need three or six. Three or six, one. Oh. Three. Oh. I also need six or one. Six. One, two. Four. Six. Ah, it's called kick and start. This one, you can still move the person and still start counting again. So I'll show you. So six. Two, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Me, I always want to. <laughs> three, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I play one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, if I play, if I play three. Ah, three. Ah! <laughs> so 
I kick her, kick and start, and I kick her again. Uh, this is good. Taranti, let's go. Mm. Six and two. Oh, it your six. So I have to play six. One, two, three, four. Mm. 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 Zero. 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 Ah, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one, two, three, four. You know, I, I, I can't lose. I'm the mother. How can I lose? <laughs> Today is not your day. Today is not your day. So one, I shift it. Hmm. Uh, one, one, two, three, four. Hmm. So I have to play one to take each out. Six, six. Oh, and two yeah. six. Hey. Oh. You so have to six, play the six. One, two. Play the six and let it come out. Hmm. Six. Two, six, six, and two. two. Six. Hey, people need six. Oh, look how play <laughs> six. Six. Oh, Ranty, play six. People play five. One, two, hey, three, four, five. five. One. <laughs> One. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. One. You know, and I can be here, and I will lose one and then I, I, I'll still lose, yeah? Want to play six and two? Six Yay! and two. Where you clear both of them? Kick and start. And two. Yay! Yay! <laughs> In fact, I think I'm a prophetess. Six huh? and <laughs> two. I said it. I said it. Sorry for it. Okay. So with this, let me play my one. Mm. Okay. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. Wow. Six. six. Two, two six. six. Hey. So put the six. six. Five, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hey, Rossi can win. Hmm. Today we thought we win, but hmm, one. Yes, I have Yay. one. At least I have to win. So the next. No, this cannot be four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you are learning how to count. Oh. And Auntie Winfrey, you are the last. Oh. You better pay. <laughs> By June, dear. <laughs> now I will pay. One. I want one. Oh. Three. One, two, three. Yeah. Six. Oh, one, two, three. Oh. Let's, let's take one, two, three, three, three. One. I'm not fed up. Oh, I have to get one. But please, I won. Six. Ah. You see, when you rush your life, you win. <laughs> Don't rush. So, you only count the six. six. Four, five, six. So oh. you kick her. Whoa! Now you can kick her. No one is No one is One, one. <laughs> six, six and two. Six. Mm. Oh. One. Oh. One. Oh, I have to play one and end this game. Six. Mm. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, <coughs> six then. One, two, three, four, five. Such a slow so today what have you learned today? <laughs> what have you learned today, Ron? <laughs> what have you learned? I've learned that in life you fail, but sometimes you succeed. So six. today you're succeeding. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Hey, do you know Ronti can come and win? This is serious. Oh God, give me one. No. God, give me one. Hey! <laughs> In fact, all my prophecies have come to pass. Thank you so much for joining the Kids Gold Moment. And today, we have finished the Lulu and I'm the champion by the yeah, grace the of God. That's the second. I think you are.